I'm Rachel Conrad for 2A TV. We're following in the footsteps of the Atlanta campaign. Today we're here on the Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield. Here on the slopes of Kennesaw Mountain, not far from the modern skyline of Atlanta, Georgia, 150,000 men fought one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War's Atlanta campaign. <laughs> Union Major General William T. Sherman pushed south from Chattanooga, Tennessee in May 1864. He drove back the Confederate Army of Tennessee with a series of battles and flanking movements. After hard fighting at New Hope Church, Pickett's Mill, and other points, Confederate General Joseph E. Johnson withdrew and prepared trenches at Kennesaw Mountain on June 21st and 22nd. Sherman followed. They entrenched up here, they had heavy uh, concentrations of artillery, and they were very determined to fight it out. Southern Lieutenant General John Bell Hood started the severe fight by attacking part of the Union lines on June 22nd, 1864 but was driven back with a loss of 1,500 men. The Confederates dug in deeper, determined to make Sherman fight them on ground of their choosing. Sherman made one of the uh, few major mistakes of the campaign here at Kennesaw Mountain. He sent Union troops in a direct assault across these open fields uh, against these uh, entrenched Confederate troops up on, the, up on the ridges in the mountains. Union cannon began to bombard the Confederate trenches at 8 a.m. on June 27, 1864. One hour later, tens of thousands of Federal soldiers surged forward in a direct attack on the Southern lines. The Union Army demonstrated against Big Kennesaw Mountain, and 5,500 of Sherman's men tried to capture Pigeon Hill. Both attacks helped keep the Confederate Army from heavily reinforcing its left wing. And that is where Sherman launched his main attack. They were just torn to pieces by artillery fire as they came into the open from below. They pushed forward, they came up this slope, they encountered obstacles that the Confederates had placed to slow them down, and then just waves of musket fire hit them. The fighting here at Cheatham Hill was bloody and desperate. Union soldiers got close, but could not break the Confederate lines. The Confederates uh, just broke apart this Union attack, forced the Union soldiers to entrench, in some cases only 30 yards from the Confederate lines, to entrench uh, just to survive. The battle ended badly for Sherman. He lost 3,000 men, three times more than the Confederates. Although fighting continued along these lines for days to come, General Sherman never launched another frontal assault on any battlefield. Now, when you look at this spot, you, not only do you see the open field across which the, the Union soldiers attacked, but you can look right over here to my left and you will actually see the entrance to a tunnel that the Union soldiers dug from their own lines that we're standing within here to try to dig under the ridge and blow up the Confederate fortifications that were on the top. The Confederates held on the Kennesaw line until the Federals outflanked them on July 2nd. Three months later, after more hard fighting, the city of Atlanta fell to Sherman and his men. Learn more about Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park by visiting our website at tv2egg.com. So that's the story of what happened here at Kennesaw Mountain. I'm Rachel Conrad for 2 Egg TV.